Welcome to this walkthrough of the prep test for French horn. Uh, the prep test involves three short pieces from memory, one set piece and one piece of our own choice. And uh, I'll now talk through each piece and play a little video performance of each one to help you. So the first piece you'll need to play from memory is this one here, 1A. And it features the notes C, E and G. And of course they are all open notes with no valves. As you can see the phrases are quite long and they feature either long notes, this is with 10 beats, or short notes, crotchets. And every phrase starts off piano, quiet, and crescendos to forte in the middle. And these hairpins in crescendo, getting louder, or diminuendo, getting softer. Do make sure that you take a big breath in between each of the phrases. This little sign here is a pause sign, so you can really take your time here before starting again. And please note that each phrase should be played all in one breath. Okay, so here is a performance. <laughs> The second piece from memory again features open notes, uh, but this time they are slurred, they are joined together, so you don't tongue each one, you simply tongue the first group of three. There are some tricky leaps here, so do practice these carefully. And essentially, they're either going from C to E, E to G, or the big jump from G all the way down to C and back up. So beware of the slurs and do make sure you observe these rests at the end to get a good breath for the next phrase. It should also be played mezzo forte, fairly loud or half loud is the literal translation. And here's a performance of this piece. <laughs> The final piece to be played from memory features the big contrast between the slurred or legato phrases, the piano sections, or the loud forte phrases with accents and very short notes, the quavers with quaver rests. So do make sure that this piece contains large contrasts and non-crescendo simply means do not crescendo, do not get louder. So here's a performance of this piece. Next we have the set piece which is unaccompanied, and this is called Toys in the Attic. So this is uh, a proper piece. It's longer than the exercises, but importantly it contains the same notes and many similarities. We have the open notes here, C, E and G. We have short notes with accents, forte dynamics, and we have some legato playing. So here's a performance of this piece. Thank you. 
the final part of the prep test is another piece, but this one it's our own choice. And for this we'll play a piece called Minuet. Um, again, it features the notes we've had all along, notably C, E, G, and a mixture of articulation, either staccato or legato or slurred. Uh, this will be with piano, but for now make sure that you you count the bar's rest correctly. So to count that, we can see there are three beats in a bar, and when we arrive here, we simply count one, two, three, two, two, three, and play. And here's a performance of this piece. <laughs> And one tricky moment to point out here is the rest at the beginning of bar 8. And this symbol there we might not have had yet. Uh, that's simply a two beat rest. So you come in on beat 3 at the end there on the G. So that's it. There are all the pieces we need to learn for the prep test. I hope it's been useful. Please continue to practice, particularly practicing these notes C, E and G. As you can see, lots of the exercises and pieces are built around these three notes. Thank you and good luck.